Hey, what's up everybody? Got uh, two knives here I wanted to show. Uh, just finished up. Uh, this first one here uh, was contacted by a gentleman uh, from Australia. Said he wanted uh, saw one of my videos and wanted a custom knife made and uh, kind of got together and told me what he wanted. Showed me some pictures and blade shape and handle and all that other fun stuff. And this is what we come up with. Nice little drop point hunter with uh, the finger guard with uh, blue G10 a little jimping on the spine there lanyard hole and all the all the good stuff um, this has a tumbled finish on the flats and a belt finish on the bevel came out pretty well uh, the only thing that I'm a little disappointed about is the the secondary bevel and you can see there it's a little inconsistent um, I tried something new. I actually tried a, a sharpening jig. Well, not a jig so much as it, it, it's a guide. Um, and I'm really not happy with the way it turned out. Uh, like I said, the inconsistency is just, uh, it bothers me. It bugs me a lot, actually. Um, but the knife is razor sharp. It's not going to hurt cutting performance. It's, it's more of a an aesthetic uh, kind of deal. And... Um, I'm actually going to change the way I finish the, the bevels and uh, it, to get a little bit more consistent, um, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, and like I said, the way this came out, it's not going to hurt the cutting performance at all. It's just, uh, just aesthetics more than anything. But at any rate, that's that little M390 and uh, the blue G10, which is what he wanted. And uh, this is actually going to get packaged up and sent halfway around the world, which is kind of crazy. Um, but that is that. Sheath, uh, Kydex sheath with a belt loop. Um, nothing fancy there. Same old, same old Kydex. So next up is uh, something that's a little bit more fancy pants. This is a uh, Chad Nichols Damascus with uh, desert ironwood scales and uh, this was actually made um, for me well actually for my wife and I this was our cake knife and uh, finished this up literally the day of our wedding um, the morning before the ceremony I was out in the, out in the shop um, grinding, uh, grinding the pins down and finishing up the scales this is a uh, Chad Nichols stainless Damascus, which is pretty crazy stuff. I've never worked with it before, um, with stainless Dama or any Damascus for that matter. And I don't, it's not really focusing all that well, but the layers in there are so thin. It's just it's the craziest stuff. Really cool. The camera really doesn't do it justice. There's a lot of gray and, and almost black to it. It just it's not really picking up all that well, but it, it's it's pretty impressive stuff. Expensive stuff. Um, this is by far the most expensive knife I've ever made. And the desert ironwood, um, especially in the sunlight, this stuff really pops. It's a really neat wood, really dense pretty really super stable stuff and uh, the copper not focusing very well the copper and uh, silver uh, pins and my maker's mark in, in certain light it, it, this stuff looks crazy but uh, really really neat stuff and like I said this was uh, an heirloom knife so I didn't mind spending the money on it and it was uh, the most nerve-wracking project I think I've ever done. Um, working with that state, working with that material. Like I said, it's super expensive. The the billet alone was uh, a little north of 200 bucks um, for just the steel, and then you know all the other materials in my time. But uh, really happy with the way it came out. And like I said, that. Uh, this is a definitely a special project. Kind of neat to uh, cut our wedding cake with uh, 
with the knife I made. But um, really neat stuff. I see why people go absolutely nuts over this Damascus. Very cool. Alright, well that's pretty much all I had. I, once again, I have a million other projects. I got two more knives for customers that are one's done, one's in the, the drawing phase. Um, that's going to get cut out here soon. Um, got a, I have literally four folders that are sitting on my workbench right now. A um, bunch of stuff in the works, but uh, right now I think it's 11 degrees outside, so it's a little hard to work in the shop. After about two hours, my feet are so cold they're ready to fall off, but uh, hopefully here soon in the next uh, couple weeks I'll have some more, some more goodies for you guys to check out. But uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.